Supporters of Danilo Medina are feeling confident. Their parties controlled the presidency for 12 years and they think they're going to be in power for another four. The Dominican Republic has the fastest growing economy in the Americas. Tourism is booming and so is foreign investment. And that means popularity. We have worked to win in the first round. That is what we are hoping for. However, not all Dominicans are so fortunate. Opposition rallies have also been full, with supporters demanding change. About 40% of the country's population still lives in poverty. Farmers, in particular, aren't enjoying the boom times. And there's resentment that some people at the top have got rich through personal contacts and illegal means. The people want changes and we will give them change. We will change the situation of Dominicans and it will improve the quality of life of everything. The problem of corruption is something that bothers regional observers. The former president of Panama says it has the power to destroy faith in the political system. Corruption is something that is turning people off politics. Money in politics is also a factor. Political parties must understand and answer to the new times. Societies have changed. With nearly 4,500 seats up for election at all levels of government, it's being called the most complex vote in the country's history. And there are concerns about a new electronic voting system. The opposition's chances are weakened by the number of rival candidates. Eight will be contesting the presidency. The top two will go through to a second round, but it's possible that Mr Medina will win outright on Sunday. Bill Hayton, BBC News.